Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra Leaks latest update. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung's next flagship smartphones are expected to come in the form of the Galaxy S, succeeding the Galaxy S20 range that launched in the first half of 2020. Though it is not yet known if the devices will be called the Galaxy S21 or Galaxy S30, we think it will be the former, there are plenty of rumors already doing the rounds. We've covered off what is claimed to be coming for the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus in a separate feature, but here we are focusing on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is everything we have heard so far. Samsung followed sequential numbers when it came to naming its Galaxy S devices until 2020, when the company jumped from Galaxy S10 to Galaxy S20. It's therefore now harder to determine what the next Galaxy S will be called going forward. We would put our money on the Galaxy S21, Galaxy S21 Plus and Galaxy S21 Ultra, as this would tie in would also use Galaxy S30. As most rumors call the range the Galaxy S21, that's what we will refer to it in this feature. The Galaxy S range of smartphones is typically announced in February, followed by a March release, so we would expect the same for 2021, though there has been a suggestion that the devices might appear in January 2021, specifically 14 January, and available from 29 January. The Samsung Galaxy S9 was announced on 25 February, and on sale from 16 March. The Galaxy S10 was announced on 20 February, and on sale from 8 March, and the Galaxy S20 was announced on 11 February, and on sale from 6 March. In terms of price, we'd expect the devices to be in a similar ballpark to their predecessors with the Galaxy S21 Ultra the top of the range, and therefore the most expensive, device. Some leaked renders suggest the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra will have an even more pronounced camera housing in the top left corner of its rear, compared to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The renders also suggest there will be a centralized punch hole camera bay, and the rest of the design will follow previous Samsung devices. We'd expect a combination of metal and glass and a very premium finish. According to rumors, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra will have a display between 6.7 inches and 6.9 inches. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.9 inch display, so this claim makes sense. Although nothing has been mentioned on resolution as yet, it's likely the S21 Ultra would have a Quad HD Plus resolution, a curved display and an OLED panel. Early reports suggested that the Galaxy S21 Ultra's main camera might move to 150 megapixels, but there are also reports claiming Samsung will stick to the 108 megapixels of the S20 Ultra. We're expecting the depth vision sensor to be removed from the Ultra though. What we might see instead is two telephoto lenses instead. It's thought that to increase the zoom performance, there will be a mid- and long-range telephoto offering, with a 3x and 5x lens offered. That could mean that zoom up to 3x is higher quality before it switches to the 5x optical for the longer ranges. Its Galaxy S21 Ultra will run on the unannounced Exynos 1000, a 5nm chipset set to compete with the unannounced Qualcomm Snapdragon 875, which the US version of the device will likely offer. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will no doubt be a 5G device, and reports claim it will come in 128GB and 256GB storage options. Its battery capacity is said to be 5000 ma. That is it guys, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.